Welcome to part two. To understand this part two, you need to watch part one of the same title. Part one was about sequence explicit recursive and variations. Now part two. What is an upper bound and lower bound? An, an upper bound, it means that an upper bound certainly for a sequence, it means all terms of the sequence is less or equal to that number. So, how do you prove it? If it's explicit, you can prove it directly. So, un minus a less or equal to zero. And for lower bound, it means all terms of the sequence are bigger than this lower bound. It means, how do you prove it? You know, un bigger or equal to b or un minus b bigger or equal to zero if it is an explicit. However, for recursive, as we did above, in variation, we have two parts. We must prove it for the first term. If you, it's an upper bound, it means it's upper than the sequence u0 smaller or equal to a or u1, depends what is the first term. And we say, suppose un minus a less or equal to 0, we need to show it for the term after un plus 1 minus a less or equal to 0. And if b is lower bound, you're going to say and no b less or equal to un, so for the first term, it means u0 bigger or equal to b. And suppose un minus b bigger or equal to 0, you need to show un plus 1 minus b bigger or equal to 0. As we did before in variation, the explicit is always easier to prove. So let us go to directly to examples. In examples, you will understand better. Here you have a sequence which is explicit. I want to show that un is bounded above by 2. What does it mean? It means un smaller than or equal to 2. So what do I start? I want to prove that un minus 2 less or equal to 0. I start directly un minus 2. un is 2n plus 1 over n plus 1 minus 2. I do same denominator here. I multiply the 2 by n plus 1 all over n plus 1. 2n minus 2n cancel out. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 is negative number and n is a natural integer which is positive. Minus over positive less than 0 for all n. So I have proved that un is bounded above by 2. Now I want to prove this explicit also that is bounded below by 3. I mean in 3 is smaller than all terms of the sequence or un is bigger than 3. So I do directly un minus 3. I want to prove it bigger or equal to 0. So I start. What is un? 3n plus 4 over n plus 1 minus 3. I do same denominator. 3n minus 3n cancel out. 4 minus 3 is 1 over n plus 1. Positive over positive is bigger than 0. So that's mean that un minus 3 bigger or equal to 0. So it's bounded below by 3. However, if you have a recursive like this one, I want to show that un is bounded below by minus 1. So oh, minus 1 is less or equal to un, or in other words, un bigger or equal to minus 1. I do it for the first term. I know that u0, which is 2, is correct, bigger than minus 1. So I say, suppose un bigger than minus 1. In other words, un plus 1 bigger than 0. I, know, I need to show it for the term after. The term after un, you all know un plus 1. Plus 1 must be bigger than 0. So here, as I did in variation in the video before, I start by the first part of the conclusion. I use my given. What's un plus 1? It's half un minus 1 plus 1. I expand. I have half un minus half plus 1 is half un plus half. I want to use the supposition. So to use the supposition, I put half in factor, I open parenthesis un. I have in the supposition plus one. So I, I add the plus one. Not to change anything, what do I do? I subtract minus one. Then I put the plus half. Why I did this part? Because I want to use the supposition. So I can say half parenthesis un plus one alone. Now I can use the supposition. Here it's positive. Well, half times minus one is minus half, and I have plus half outside cancel out. I have this one, what remains. So here, as you can see from supposition is bigger than zero. So I have proved what I want. So I have proved in other words that UN is bounded below by minus one. Another example to understand more, show that UN is bounded above by two. So I do it for the first term u0 which is 2 less or equal to 2 if you want take another more because these are the same 
So U1, you take as U0 plus 3 over 4, 5 over 4, less or equal to 2. So I say, suppose UN less or equal to 2. In other words, UN minus 2 less or equal to 0. You need to show that the term after UN plus 1 minus 2 less or equal to 0. So I start by the supposition. I use my given. What's UN plus 1? It's UN plus 3 over 4 minus 2. Okay? I do same denominator. 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. I have UN minus 5 over 4. But in the supposition, what do I have UN minus 2? So I add minus 2, not to change anything. I do, I, I put minus 2 and then plus 2, not to change anything. And I have the minus 5. So I take now the first 2 alone. And 2 minus 5 alone, which is minus 3 over 4. Here, this is negative. Here, this is negative. Sum of two negatives, certainly it's less or equal to zero. So from supposition, it's less or equal to zero. So I have proved that UN less or equal to two. So it's UN is bounded above by two. Now, I gave you a homework relating uh, uh, the first part one with the part two, the two videos. Uh, this is the given. You can take a picture now. I can, I'm going to give you some seconds. You can stop it and take picture. These are the other part. Here you have increasing, bounded above, below, whatever. And I'm going to give you the solution when you want to check your work. So this is the first solution of the first two numbers. Solution of number three and four. You can check your work. Solution of number five and six. And solution of number seven and eight. I hope that you understood the, the part one and part two about sequence, explicit recursive, variation, upper bound and lower bound. And I'm going to see you in another two videos, one about arithmetical sequence, one about geometric sequence. See you in school. Take care.